Dear students, this is Aksana Awal today. Today students, I will take your home science class and our today's topic is chapter 3, lesson 3 and 4 discussion. In the previous class, we discussed chapter 3, lesson 1 and 2 and today we will discuss lesson 3 and 4. So let's start the class. Uh, this is chapter 3, lesson 3. Proper arrangement of interior furniture. The comfort and beauty of the house mostly depend on the arrangement of furniture in their proper place. Students, furnitures are, are uh, furniture actually that means proper arrangement of interior furniture. That means uh, where we have to place the furniture, how we can place this furniture. This lesson is about that. The comfort and beauty of the house mostly depend on the arrangement of furniture in their proper place. Before selecting and arranging the furniture, the needs of a family must be considered carefully. That means for doing this, we have to maintain uh, these points. Okay, there are some points, important points for that. Unnecessary furniture spoil the beauty of the room. Furniture must be arranged according to the needs of the room. A dining table and chairs should be kept in a dining room. That means we have to maintain the furniture properly. That means in a dining room, uh, we have to place the table, uh, the dining table and chair. And in the bedroom, we have to place the uh, cot or the bed okay so, so this is the system actually in the drawing room we have to place the sofa or uh, a table or the uh, furniture that uh, where the guests can where the guests can uh, take place can stay can sit the arrangement of furniture should allow the easy movement of a person that means when we will place the furniture, we have to uh, consider that that the furniture must be in uh, the place that cannot disturb the person, disturb any person. If we just keep keep a furniture in, in the middle of the room, uh, then uh, then the work of the uh, people may be hampered and it cannot be look so beautiful that's why we have to put the furniture in the place the furniture in the proper place the purpose of using furniture is to give comfort in doing work the arrangement of furniture should increase uh, sorry should ensure this comfort all heavy and big furniture should be placed against a big wall such as a large cabinet can be placed in front of big wall uh, the principles of art must be followed in arranging the furniture. The size of the furniture should be proportional to the size of a room. So students, these are the points that we have to follow uh, for, uh, for designing or the arrangement of interior furniture. Now lesson 4, elements of room decoration, curtain and carpet. At first, curtains of door and window. Importance of using curtain in door and window. It saves our privacy, protects the room from extreme heat and dust from outside, etc. That means, uh, beside this, we have there uh, another um, um, purposes also. Now, considerable factors in selecting curtain. The color of a curtain should be selected considering the color of wall, floor, ceiling and furniture. The rooms look apparently big by using light colored curtain. Curtains with large prints of check and diagonal lines can be used in a big room. It is better to use curtain with uh, small prints and vertical line with a small room. The curtains of heavy texture keep the room warm in winter. Now carpet. 
The environment of the house can be more graceful by using carpet on floor. Carpet can be placed on the floors of all rooms of the house. The durability of color and the brightness of a carpet made of artificial fiber is more, such as color and the brightness of the carpets made of nylon and polyester are durable. They can be cleaned easily. Carpets, uh, carpets must be cleaned up regularly. Now, decorating room with wall hangings and lights. At first, this is wall picture. The size of picture, um, students actually, these are the, uh, these are the points. Uh, and first, this is wall picture. The size of picture should be selected considering the size of a wall. A large wall can be decorated with more than one picture. All pictures must be hung on a uh, same height of a wall. The subject of picture should be selected according to the kind of room. The picture should be hung straight on a wall. There should be sufficient lights uh, so that the pictures are seen. Now lighting and proper use of light. Proper arrangement of light brings attention to our study and keeps the room warm during the winter. Nowadays, glass is used in doors and windows for entering the daylight inside the house. Furniture should be kept in such an arrangement that light can easily enter the room. Because light is very important for our daily work. Now, uh, flower arrangement. The home is decorated with flowers in order to make the occasion more lively and attractive. It uh, removes the monotony of an interior uh, decoration. An effect of natural environment can be created by decorating a room with flowers. Flowers in a vase become center of attraction very easily of a room decoration. We arrange flowers to make ourselves happy. We arrange flowers in a vase to entertain the guests. Now some guidelines for arranging flowers. Flowers, stems and leaves and their hearts should be proportionate to the shape and size of the vase. There should be a harmony of uh, color of flowers with the furniture, curtains and carpet of the room. Artificial flowers cannot be mixed with uh, fresh or natural flowers. The pin holder should be, should be drawn in the water. Dry, curled or mitten leaves uh, foliage must be thrown away. Okay, students, so these are the important points from these lessons, from these two lessons, uh, three and four. And students, your HW number two is make five MCQ from uh, chapter three, lesson three and four. Okay, students, that's all for today. See you. I love this.